<laughs> Welcome back. We are here with our good friend and the hardest working woman in no. foraging, yeah, Rachel yeah. West from Eating the Ozarks. Mm -hmm. You've been one busy lady. I have. Yeah. Dinners and events, but it's been a lot of good foraging and teaching and okay. cake making. Good stuff. Um, so I want to know, first of all, there is <laughs> yeah. the most. Green you want to ask the question or should I? <laughs> should we hold it up? <laughs> Can I hold this up and get a look at this real quick? I'm eager to dive into this. I want to know what this is, but I, th I have a feeling it has something to do with uh, the little jar of herbs or whatever yes. leaves you found in the forage. So, what on earth is this, Rachel? Okay, so you know, I am all about trying to figure out a flavor that I want to replicate out of our forests, yeah. right? And then putting it into something that's approachable. Now, I'm not saying that a green dessert is 100% approachable, but the fact that there's no food coloring in it, I would approach and it's it with still caution. very. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I should, uh, maybe I should add a little cream to make it a limeier green. But with I cream. brought you both of these plants before, so I don't know if you remember. This one. This is the little pickle plant that was nice and sour. Yeah. You can even taste one of those if that's you want. That's a pickle plant. That's like oh, that's the lemon the lime. That's yeah. the wood I'm sorrel. I'm trying to keep my palate clean. All right, all whatever right. that is. And then here, so just crush this one and smell it. This is your spice bush. So these leaves, while I can also wrap them around chicken, I have. Put, I like to put them into things yeah. like. Mm -hmm. um, so. Two, three years ago, I did the event at the Art Museum with Joe Gidman, and he had oh, a yeah. honey cake that he uses at Van Gogh's, and he blended spice bush leaves, mm. and that changed my life, because then I, take, I started taking these leaves like this, and just throwing them in the food processor with whatever, my creaming of my butter, yeah. and it, it has this flavor. Delicious. So, take your little fork. So, all that I did is, in that pound cake, I juiced the sorrel, which is your sour, like lemon juice. Okay. And then I added the the leaves to my butter. So I used the spice bush leaves and the sorrel, but the sorrel juice and then the leaves are what you see is the green. So I get both of those uh, flavors of the spice I cake try. and the lemon okay. with just these two wild foods that are isn't that perfect? Can I eat the little purple flower too? You can. That's spider okay. wart. I brought you guys in that I think maybe two, three weeks ago. You won't have they any are spiders. The, <laughs> Those are naturally cooling. Uh, I, they, they're the ones that turn the purple, the, the honey purple. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, this is really good. This is a familiar taste. So it's that lemon yeah. that's from that sorrel, and right. then the spiciness, instead of going with an allspice or something, you've got your spice bush leaves. But then it gives it that bright green. It's, tra it's kind of from the forest, but also it's the, the flavor that you're wanting is spicy and lemon and sour. This that is, is very good. It's very good. So now you made this sweet. Mm -hmm. Could you certainly you could make some kind of a savory. Oh, I'm going to do for my event. So I've got a primitive skills camp out coming this weekend. Oh. And one of the things that I'm doing is a spice bushed cornbread. Oh, and there so you go. adding all of uh -huh. that flavor to something that's more savory, then you can serve it with a stew. So I think you make enough things that are savory. I think this one as a nice dessert is perfect. And these leaves are that's amazing fantastic. in a chocolate chip cookie. They what? add like an, like you know how you would want to do an orange zest mm -hmm. sometimes? They you ever had the orange covered chocolate? No. Oh, adding gosh, this yes. leaf. Okay, so adding no, yeah. this leaf to that to a chocolate chip cookie adds that flavor that you're looking for. That would wow. be stupendous. Isn't that this great? is really amazing. And yeah. these little oxide daisies, I actually toss those in. Not only are they really cute and pretty, if you actually see those, it's a very unmistakable daisy this time of year. The leaves of these taste just like a sweet carrot and parsley had a baby. They are so Good. Really? The leaves of those, I will put them in any pesto or any salad. Um, anytime I see them, they're my favorite thing to eat, even trail side. Speaking of pesto um, or salad, I would think that the, both of these would be delicious. Oh, up, yeah, I can a, go some with, kind of a pesto um, with walnuts on a bruschetta easy. or something like that mm -hmm. would be. Wow. Well, and this, these spice That's bush really leaves, um, I've also blended them into um, like a sugar and then put it over your strawberries. For mm. a summer salad. Oh yeah. So the the spice bush is literally one of the understory trees that we have the most prolific down where I live. I mean, thousands of trees between me and the next bridge pullout. Here's so. the problem, though. Mm -hmm. I don't trust myself to get the right thing. Well, it, you need That's to come working with me. That's know, why you need to do a class. You'll fairly quickly if you didn't get the right thing. <laughs> this is, you know, because this tree is in the sassafras family. They're both very scratch and sniff. So if you grab a stem and you just scratch it, you will smell the aromatic oils Ooh, that are man. like lemon and orange peel. So that's very, very hard to mistake out in the of forest. The taste is reminding me of a lemon meringue pie. 
So I haven't done really a lemon good. meringue with it now. You now I've got a it. challenge. Yes, <laughs> that is delicious. Oh, is that good? But you can always go to Eating the Ozarks and maybe, you know, look or ask her questions. You can look at some, you know, yeah, this is the know. one you look for. Look for this leaf, not that leaf. Anyway, Rachel West, good to see you. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Rachel. you so much. See you guys. Right. Back. One more bite.